hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about the operation and behavior of a bistable element so as i said bistable element is the basic element which we have used in the design of sequential logic circuits of mass circuits so sequential logic circuit is nothing but a combination logic circuit with a memory element in the feedback so that memory element is nothing but a latch or a flip flop which is made up of this bistable element which is made up made up of the bistable element okay now so the basic bistable element is comprising of two identical inverters connected back to back so a basic bistable element comprises of two inverters cmos inverters two inverters connected two inverters connected back to back that means what do you mean by back to back output of one inverter connected to the input of other inverter that is output of output of one inverter connected to the input of other input of other that means see here this is one cmos inverter this is the output and this is the input okay so back to back is nothing but output of this inverter is connected as the input of other inverter see here we are taking one more inverter this is the cmos inverter this is the output is connected as the input and again this output is connected as the input for the inverter so this is first inverter and this is second inverter okay so here we are taking the input and here we are taking the output so v i v i 1 v o 1 for the first inverter again this is v i 2 and this is v o 2 this is for the second inverter so first inverter input and output second inverter input and output second inverter input is equal to the first inverter output again first inverter input is nothing but output of the second inverter okay now let us see the voltage transfer characteristics so that we can understand the behavior of this bistable uh, element see whenever we apply suppose a logic one is applied here that logic one passes through this inverter and gives you zero again zero is fed back to this inverter and again produces the output one so the same logic one zero one zero it is continuously uh, rotated through this bistable element through the connected uh, back to back inverters now let us see the voltage transfer characteristics of this bistable element voltage transfer characteristics voltage transfer characteristics in short it is referred to as vtc characteristics VTC characteristics of this inverter pair. So, voltage transfer characteristics are nothing but both the axes refers to voltages. Okay, generally input voltage on x-axis and output voltage on y-axis. So, input voltage here V I 1 for the first inverter and the output is v o 1 okay if with respect to the first inverter with respect to the first inverter so the input for the first inverter is v i 1 and output is v o 1 so that's why v i 1 v o 1 and input for the second inverter input for the second inverter is v i 2 input for the second inverter is v i 2 and the output is v o 2 so we take v i2 here v i2 and here it is v o2 okay 
so one inverter we have taken in a conventional way and the other inverter we have taken in the reverse order so that we can observe the meeting points of the characteristic curves we can observe the meeting points of the characteristic curves okay so we know for the first inverter we know when input is 0 output is logic high when input is 0 output is 1 when input is equal to 1 output is 0 okay this is 0 and this is logic 1 nothing but vdd voltage and this is 1 vdd voltage let it be 5 volts so the characteristic curve will be like this okay so this is what generally conventional inverter characteristics when input equal to 0 output is 1 and when input equal to 0 when input equal to 1 output is equal to 0 okay now when we are taking the other inverter characteristics and superimposed on this then it is in the order like this when input is equal to zero output is one when input equal to zero output is one so that means here again it will be going like this when input is equal to 1, here input refers to VI2. I am talking about VI2. Hope you understand. When input is equal to 0, here, when input equal to 0, output is 1. That's why it is here. Output is nothing but VO2. Okay. When input VI2 is equal to 0, output is equal to VO2, which is located here. Again, when input VI2 is equal to 1, which is located here, VI2 is equal to 1, output is equal to 0. So, output equal to 0 means on this curve. So, like this. Okay, the curve characteristics will be like this. Okay. Okay, these are the voltage transfer characteristics of two inverters and the characteristics are superimposed one on another. One is in the conventional way, another one we have taken in the reverse order. So, here the stable state is located, this is the stable state. This is one stable state and again this is another stable state. Here also this is a stable state and here also this is a stable state. So here we have two stable states. Here we have two stable states. Then where is the unstable state? Unstable state is nothing but at this point. This is the unstable state where there is no stability. It is in the continuous changing process. Okay. So in the bistable elements, we have two stable states. We have two stable states at the ends at the end say either input is equal to high or output is equal to high okay when we are taking the energy curve from this particular vtc characteristics energy curve will be having highest peak at this meeting point here there are three meeting points there are three meeting points for this See here, here one point, again here low level, again here low level. So, this is low level and this is high level, again this is low level, this will be high level. What is this? This refers to energy, energy curve of the bistable element. So, bistable element is having highest energy when they are having the changing period during the transition period during the transition from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 it consumes highest energy and at the stable states it does not have any consumption of energy any consumption of the energy hope you understand from the characteristic curve okay I will write here so during transition during transition from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 
द एलिमेंट कंज्यूम्स मोर पावर बट बट एट स्टेबल स्टेट एट स्टेबल स्टेट मीन देर इज नो ऑपरेशन ऑफ द इन्वर्टर दैट्स वे इट इज हैविंग लेस एनर्जी कंजम्पन बट एट स्टेबल स्टेट द एनर्जी कंजम्पन energy consumption or power consumption of the circuit is low less or zero okay now if you draw the cmos inverters the same we can draw using cmos uh, circuit so cmos realization of बाइस्टेबल एलिमेंट बाइस्टेबल एलिमेंट सो सीमास रियलाइजेशन इज नथिंग बट वी आर हैविंग टू इन्वर्टर्स सो कंसीडर टू सीमास इन्वर्टर्स वी नो हाउ द सीमास इन्वर्टर रियलाइजेशन इज सो वन पीमास ट्रांजिस्टर इन द पुल्ड अप एंड वन एनमास ट्रांजिस्टर इन द पुल्ड डाउन सो द पीमास ट्रांजिस्टर दिस इज द पीमास ट्रांजिस्टर एंड दिस इज द दिस इज वीडीडी एंड दिस इज ग्राउंड ओके so the input for this is common now take one more inverter as we are having two inverters so vdd and this one p mos n mos now what is the logic the output of the output of inverter 1 let us consider this is inverter 1 and this is inverter 2 the output of inverter 1 is connected as the input of as the input of inverter 2 okay so the output of input output is always taken from the drains of these two terminals center of nmos and pmos so output of this one is connected as the input and again output of the second inverter is connected as the input of the first inverter okay this is what the circuit realization cmos realization of the sequential element basic sequential element which is nothing but a bistable element okay thank you